Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about some questions based on principal values of inverse trigonometric functions. Okay. So as in previous lectures, in last two lectures, I have discussed about all the trigonometric inverse trigonometric functions and their graphs, and we have also discussed their the principal value branches for each and every function separately. Okay, so this video is the application of these graphs and the principal value branches that we have discussed earlier. Okay, so now right, I am right, writing down the question number one here and we will solve the question. Okay, so in the first question we need to find out the find the principal value of sin inverse 1 by root 2 okay so how to do these type of questions student we will proceed with let sin inverse 1 by root 2 is y so from this I can write then sin y is equals to 1 by root 2 okay and we know th that the range of the principal value branch of sin inverse is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so our answer should lie between this range and also we know that sin pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 so therefore I can say that the principal value of sin inverse 1 by root 2 is pi by 4 because this pi by 4 lies in between this principal value branch of inverse trigonometric functions as sin y is equals to 1 by root 2 and this y if it takes pi by 4 this is a solution this y should be lie between this principal value branch range okay now let's move to another question so students here is the question number two now let's proceed with the solution in the question we need to find out the find the principal value of quote inverse 1 by root 3 so we will uh, proceed in our standard method so which is let quote inverse 1 minus 1 by root 3 equal y so from this we get quote y is equals to minus 1 by root 3 okay and this we also can write it as minus root pi by 3 or root pi minus pi by 3 so this is equals to root 2 pi by 3 now we need to check the principal value branch of root inverse Quote inverse function is between 0 to pi. So 2 pi by 3 lies between 0 to pi, 0 to pi. So we can say that this is the principal value, or you can say the principal solution of quote inverse minus 1 by root 3. Okay, students. So I hope that you are pretty clear about the steps I have done here. So quote y is equal to minus 1 by root 3 okay so I can write this as minus of quote pi by 3 because quote pi by 3 is 1 by root 3 and minus of quote pi by 3 is minus 1 by root 3 so quote pi minus theta will is equals to minus root theta because in the second quadrant as you all know that we have discussed earlier also after school to college here is only sine and cosecant positive so quote is negative here so we write it down it has quote pi minus pi by 3 so the standard value what we are getting is or the principal value that we are getting is 2 pi by 3 students okay uh, so I hope that now you guys can easily solve the questions uh, based on principal values okay and if you are still facing any issue or any doubt in this lecture then please please do comment in the comment section students I will be more than happy to help you guys there and in the next lecture students we will uh, discuss some properties or you can say the formulas of inverse trigonometric functions okay so stay tuned for that lecture
थैंक यू हैप्पी लर्निंग